You know, we talk about this often that sometimes putting a cook together takes longer than the actual cook will itself. And today we're here yet again with another one of those cooks. But when Brett sent me the picture of these crack burgers, I said, yeah, they're getting done this weekend. One hundo prosciutto. Uh, you want to see us knock out these, what we're calling, because that's what it says in the picture. Yeah, they're, that's called what they're called crack, crack burgers. burgers. Yeah. Stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the, the other one. The groceries aren't specifically pictured for this one, but go ahead and talk about what we did building these. Okay, so we have about a pound of 80-20 ground beef. We've got, used about a cup of uh, shredded mixed cheese. We've got ranch powder. We've got sour cream, bacon bits. Yeah, and that's it. I think that's it. Cheese, yeah, and that's pretty much <laughs> it. And uh, we are going to be topping with American cheese yes. and bacon. But So you, you mix bacon, this all yes. together. You put this in the bowl. Yep, exactly right, and gloved up for this one. Yes. Boy, what a mess it was. Even forming these patties yes. was a little cumbersome because there's a lot of well, wet Moisture, in there because yes. of the sour cream. So we've got them, and then we're going to be using a little salt and pepper for Ooh, these yeah, burgers yeah. as well. So we're going to go ahead and get the bacon on first. All right, but before we do that, Brett, let me go grab the buns. Oh, yeah, the why don't you go do that? <laughs> All right, Brett, I'm calling an audible. Okay. Ooh. We're going to use the mayo to toast the buns. All right, my guy. So I'm gonna glove up and I'll prep that while you go ahead and get these. So let's go ahead and get these burners on over here if you don't mind. And right now we're on the Pit Boss Ultimate 5 burner. We've got it on low. We've got these three burners on. I just had Brett turn all of it on. Brett is gonna start with the bacon. While he's doing that, I decided, I'm calling an audible, I'm gonna use some mayonnaise on the buns to toast those up. We like the savoriness. So right over here, let's go ahead and get Brett going on that bacon. Now this is applewood, this is right, applewood smoked thick yep. cut bacon. There we go. All right, Griff, so here's what we're gonna do. We get just a dollop of mayo right in there. And now this just got turned on, so this is gonna take a little bit, but that'll give me time to get all of these. All right, right the buns are done. The buns look good. So now we're just waiting. That bacon is almost just how we like it. So then we'll pull it, put it on this paper towel, and then we'll cook the burgers. All right, time to get the burgers onto the griddle. If we can get them off the plate. <laughs> if we can get them off the plate. Now they're oh. very moist. So I put them in the fridge with the hope that they would stay intact because they are very moist burgers. There we go, get our five burgers down. So while these are cooking, we're gonna salt and pepper this side. Now this already has the ranch packet in there. And but bacon. We yeah, and bacon, but we do like the savoriness of the salt and pepper that it brings. So we're just gonna add salt and pepper to this and the pepper. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna watch for this to cook part way up and when it's done, we'll give it a flip. It's gonna be about two, three minutes. Yep, we want to go about three quarters of the way up. Before. Right, starting to get these. We gotta be careful on the flip because they are moist. But there we go. That looks pretty good, I must say. Very pretty. There we go, so we'll get that one too. All right, we're gonna give these a little bit longer. We realize we may have flipped the, the we may have flipped the far one just a little bit too early, so we're gonna give it a minute. All right, we get cheese on that. Mm. All right, Brett, I'd go ahead and go ahead and pull that first one there. We'll bun it, and then we'll get some bacon on there. Now, are we putting anything else on these? I just think simple bacon. Yeah, maybe mayonnaise. Oh, uh, maybe. So I figured three slices of bacon on each. We'll top that and then we'll figure if we want anything else on it. Because of the unevenness, you can see the peaks in the valley. So the peaks are what are obviously getting the um, sear. Uh huh. There you go. That's a nice little sear. Cheese these ones? Yeah, I cheese them. All right, you think that one's ready to go? Oh yeah. Oops. There we go. And All right, we'll bake in that one. You don't want to mayonnaise it? We can, well, we, we don't have to right now, so we'll, we'll get them and then we can decide. Next one, you ready? Yep. All right, there we go. Whew, that cheese is almost uh, holding that together barely. Okay. 
This is kind of a whole little process down here, Brett. It is. It's like its own little factory. <laughs> it is. Like the button factory, Joe. I know him. Ooh, okay. And the last one. Let's go ahead and get our bacon on these. Time to get some footage of these. Mm -hmm. So even though we use mayonnaise to toast the bun, we're just gonna put a little dollop of mayo for flavor. Well, these things are small but mighty. Yes, they have that. Uh, they have that, that old greasy burger yeah, joint look, look and feel that. to it. So we want. We didn't want to put anything else on there. No lettuce, tomato. Uh, we discussed putting ranch dressing. Right, because it has ranch in. I think the original picture had some ranch, but uh -huh. we thought it's gonna have plenty of flavor. So we just added mayonnaise for some more savoriness. But yep. that's all we wanted. But like we this. say, it can look amazing. These look absolutely amazing. They do. They're like totes we, adorbs. They totes are adorbs. Like we say, they can smell amazing. Uh, yeah. This, oh, can I get a gosh. smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you can. Oddly enough, doesn't smell like a traditional burger. Correct. So I'm anxious wow. to see how they taste. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all oh, for not. Nah. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Mmm. 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 Wow. wow. What am I getting here? Mm. Ranch. Ranch. Mmm. The cheese goes so well with that bacon. I can actually taste, I can actually taste the shredded cheese that we put in there melted yes. throughout. In fact, there's cheese melted through it. Mmm. What mm -hmm. a burger. Mmm. What a delicious burger. Right? And it's not messy. Drip I thought on screen eating my other one. Yeah, I thought it was going to be super. Uh, I almost got my gloves on. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be messy. It's not messy at all. Wow, what a good burger. I'll that tell is you. So good. I'm going to tell you what this burger is. This is one that you, you bite and it's like, oh, it's not a traditional burger. Already, I don't have it. Yeah. I want more I of it. I want to go eat more of time. This is one, if I go to a restaurant and I get this, I'm thinking about this a few days later. I'm like, I got to totally, go back and get totally. another craft burger. This, th that, that flavor is just resonating in my mouth and it's, it's it tastes like more. You're and right. my mouth wants more. We do love that we get to come and share these unique cooks with you. If you enjoyed this, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It is one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smashed. Smashed. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Also, if you've stuck it out with us this long, make sure and include in your comment, crack is whack, unless it's a crack burger. burger yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently I don't get any more. Griff is just gonna down the rest of my well, burger. We got so a few more back here. We got so, a few yeah. more to go feed the masses. Uh, but let's go ahead and get up out of here, man. I love that we get to come and do this. Yep. Aside from coming and knocking out bangers like this, the crack burger, yep. why else are we doing all this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And Griddle on. on! That flavor is it's just so right good, there. So good.